Today is 22nd of December 2020. This is the 10 years old May entire park. Okay. Now, nine years ago, the right eye had a central corneal ulcer and uh, I did an operation which is the third eyelid. Uh, no, the third eyelid and tarsography which is actually sewing up the upper and lower eyelids to cover the eyeball and the ulcer apparently had healed and the owner was quite happy with it. That was nine years ago. Eh? Subsequently, I think the owner didn't really uh, follow up on this eye uh, review, eh? let's say every year or every six months. So, so there was uh, no complaint. And as you can see on the left eye, there is no complaint so about uh, ulceration. But you see the left eye, the cornea itself, which is the clear part of the eye, eh? is all black. It's called pigmentation. Eh? That's because the part is rubbing the eyes. It rub and rub using the pores until the cornea. The cornea is a clear part of the eye eh? has, has become black due to rubbing over many years. But fortunately, it did not develop ulcer or, or uh, dry eye. But unfortunately for this right, uh, right eye, it developed uh, ulcers, but the owner didn't know about it. So it became very uh, irritating to the dog. So the dog keeps on rubbing the eyes. Now what's the evidence of the dog rubbing the eyes? Now I will show you. The evidence is even as recent as now, uh, which is 2020. You can see there's a big hole here. Now this hole is normally the claws. It's been rubbing and this part, the hair is gone uh, and it becomes black. Uh, that one is the evidence of the dog rubbing his eyes uh, frequently, uh, probably every day. And so even though the owner might have used eye drops and uh, the dry eye ointment, uh, they call it cytophosphate, but it's no use because the dry eye, the tears didn't produce much and the dog feels very irritated. Now you look at the left eye, uh, there, there is rubbing, no doubt there is rubbing, now the evidence is here, this is a facial fold, now by right there should be hairs here, but you see all the hairs are gone, and not only gone, normally the skin is about white colour, the normal skin, but it becomes, becomes uh, pigmented as well, this is due to many years of uh, rubbing, scratching, using the pores, and you can even see a hole here as well, see, normally there shouldn't be any holes, these are all the, the part rubbing it with his paws and the, and the paws of course are sharp so they make holes in it but fortunately it didn't injure the left eye so but the owner is not worried about the left eye the right eye is the one now you can see now this is a recent thing otherwise there shouldn't be a hole here now the, 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 the main thing about the part is the facial fold they call it the nasal fold there are two of them they are part of the breeding and to make the pup looks what the pup should look like. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the facial fold in many pups irritates the eyeball. And uh, so they develop eye irritation and itchiness. Now, actually a simple surgery to cut it off this way. Cut off the fold, a simple surgery, so that there is no more fold here. There's no more fold and then the dog will have a flat face. So when the dog has a flat face, there's nothing to poke, nothing from the facial fold poking into the eyeball and therefore there will be no irritation to the pup. Now this should be done at a young age, maybe two or three years old, but most owners wouldn't do it and uh, they feel that it doesn't look like a pup. But uh, that, that is the, the, the what disadvantage of uh, being a pup, I would say, uh, because of this, this pup particularly has a very big facial fold and so the hair from here grows into the uh, inwards and disturbs the eyeball so that is the reason for this uh, eye irritation and then pigmentation the cornea becomes black and then after that the tear glands get affected so it stop, stop producing tears so that is called a dry eye, huh? the KCA okay stop there